name is Janice Forbes, and I um, am a board member for Blue City Cultural Center. I'm also a volunteer with the um, one of their programs called So Much Love at the NCAA. And women in transition, um, for the most part, who are in shelters in the uptown Memphis area, come and become fabric artists. If I could sum up what, what So Much Love does in one sentence, it would be that it brings women together in a uh, setting almost like an old-fashioned quilting bee, where we visit and talk and make fabric art and try to have a good time and learn from each other. And, um, yeah, just our art starts making us feel better and better about ourselves and who we are and what we can do. It's amazing what, what happens during the period of time we do have together. Well, I, I just learned how to sew. I, I never knew how to do this. Okay. I never knew. So it is a new skill. I, I would like to continue. Yeah, I'd like to continue. It was fun. I think I can make some money out of this. Say it again. I think I can make some money out of this. <laughs> if I get better, practice more. Um, everybody was nice and helpful. It, it, they were supportive of everything because I just, I usually, when I first started coming, I didn't want to do it, period. But once I got to know everybody and the the team and stuff, I was like, cool, I can do this. They're helpful. They're not just all mean and stuck up and stuff. They're like a family. It's nice. Because of the program and what Blue City is doing, and, and what um, the premises of the organization, which is Arts for a Better Way of Life, I figured by having the women actually do molds of their own faces would be more instrumental in the uh, therapeutic process, um, as well as exploring their artistic and creative side, you know, whether they know they have it or not. I did a um, uh, demonstration for the women and it was very uh, hands-on and a lot of feelings came out. And Arts for a Better Way of Life uh, to promote and enhance uh, personal abilities within the women so that they become uh, more productive members of society. Pretty much, that's, that's pretty much it in a, in a nutshell because not only do we want them to have um, to be actively engaged in creating something and producing something, but we also want them to uh, nurture uh, from within. We want them to nurture from within.